So, chemo day one is over. How do I feel? Well, I'm going to try and keep this vaguely short because it's been a very long day. But uh, it all started um, last evening, having had my pick line. Um, I actually suffered from quite a lot of palpitations. Um, so, not like adrenaline style panic attacky type palpitations, but it was more like a real fluttery soft feeling that um, was just, just uncomfortable the amount that it was happening really. So I looked it up and um, apparently it's when your pick line's gone in a bit too far. Um, so I obviously was, had to get that sorted out today. Um, discovered that they're very right that steroids cause insomnia. Um, I did not sleep at all last night. Um, not tired, just literally lying there like... <laughs> um, and then off to hospital for 9.30 today. And um, when I got there this morning I was... I turned bright red. Um, like my skin had all burned up. And uh, apparently that's a reaction to steroids. Um, but along with my palpitation-y type things and stuff, they got me in first and hooked me up to an ECG, checked my heart rate and things. So that's literally just like little stickers on your ankles, across your chest um, and your wrists and things. And they hook up the electrical electrodes and just watch your heart pattern. That was all fine, okay. Um, and then she had to change the dressing on my pick line to get rid of the gauzes that they, they put on initially. And found that my pick line had moved in one centimetre. So that all she did was pull it out gently. Didn't feel a thing. So that's all sorted. And I haven't... I've had a couple of palpitations since, but nothing really. But that's probably tied in with my thyroid. So, a quick run rundown of the day. Um, <clears throat> they took me to my lovely comfy seat. Only allowed one visitor in at a time. Um, the first drug of the day was the Herceptin. And as it's my first time having Herceptin they dripped into me over a course of an hour and a half um <coughs> which was absolutely fine felt fine um just sat and clicked through a magazine chatted to steve um all good then i had um i think it was an hour saline solution drip after that just to separate the two and hydrate me and things and check that there was no reaction from herceptin and then I had um, first ke the chemo drug, the doxetaxel, I think it's called, something along those lines. Um, and within 20 minutes of that drip, it was meant to be an hour drip, I flushed up really badly again. I started burning up and my eyelids went hot, which was strange, and my arms. Um, but the nurse spotted me before I did. Um, and noticed I was having a reaction to came over and switched everything off. Checked all my vitals again. Um, put me on just a saline drip to flush me through a bit. And injected that with some hydrocortisone um, to um, counter the reaction. And a load of pyritin, which made me very sleepy. So I was on that for about half an hour um, till the burning sort of flush came down a bit um, and then they hooked me back up to the chemo drugs and I was fine thereafter a bit sleepy so I just had a little sort of close of my eyes didn't really fall asleep I was still aware of everything going on but just had a little lie back and a rest um, then a quick seven minute saline flush after that followed by um, the carboplatin um, which was an hour long so and I had no reaction to that I felt cool I felt fine um, so that finished I think about 5 30 in the evening um, having got in for 9 30 so long old day um, but everyone's so lovely on there so friendly so on the ball with everything constantly making sure everyone's okay and checking everything and um, it all passed quite quickly, really, to be honest, um, without too much hassle. Obviously, they had the fannying around with um, checking my ECG and things and 
than the reaction to the chemo drugs but um, this is the longest time that I'll have this first time round because they like to introduce it really slowly to check for reactions and things. Um, so for example the Herceptin was an hour and a half, next time it will be done over an hour and then thereafter it would be only half an hour. Um, so I'm feeling surprisingly fine actually. Um, I can feel I'm a little bit tired in the background sort of thing. Um, it has been a long day but I don't feel ill in any way. I don't feel sick. I've got a little bit of heartburn probably from the steroids. I've come home with um, a few boxes of drugs so I've got some more steroids that I will need to take for the next cycle. I've got some on Dancitron which is some sort of anti-sickness drug that I just take for two days starting tonight. Um, metoclopramide, um, which again are for relief of nausea. Um, I'll be taking them for f uh, five days on this first round, but it depends how I feel with sickness. Um, I probably won't have to take them going forward. And then I have a fridge full of injections. So um, because this intensive chemo is going to whack out my white blood count, um, stop my bone marrow production and um, leave me open to infection. Um, I have to have injections to stimulate the bone marrow growth and keep my white blood cell count up. Um, they can do that in the hospital if you don't like having injections. They can send a community nurse round to your house, but they're very busy people and that's obviously a strain on the NHS, blah, blah, blah. So I volunteered to do it myself. Um, I will video that for you, for those of you that want to see those gruesome things. But it's very simple. Just pinch a bit of belly fat, which I seem to have plenty of nowadays. Um, and poke it in. Click it through. Done. So I have my very own sharps box as well now. <laughs> so, yep, fully paid up member of the chemo club. Um, possibly next time you see me, I might be sporting a new do. I was planning on having that by now, but we just triply, triply checked with them today that I am definitely going to lose my hair. And yes, in the next two weeks it's going to go, so... Bzzz.